a splendid work of a monster main volume of review. When it comes to stories about maids, there is certainly plenty to be found in the manga market, but what if that maid is a monster? Well, the concept has also been done, but it isn't seen a regular, as regularly in the English market these days. So here's a capitalize that is Yen Press's new series, The Splendid Work of a Monster Maid. Let's find out if this work is as splendid as the title implies. Our story follows Sumire, a black cat that lives with the elderly woman who pampers and treats her as her own daughter. Sumire desperately wants to repay her owner for her kindness, and one day she gains the ability to turn into a human. But then, sadly, her owner has passed away, but nowhere to call home. Sumire wanders the demon realm, looking for a new place to belong, even if it means working as a maid. When it met Sumire in Chapter 1, she's already working as a maid for a mage called Mary, but having never been trained for the job. Sumire finds herself constantly making mistakes. Even just serving tea leaves to the poor Nekomata burning herself and dropping things left and right. Tired of Zomir enjoying herself the job, Mary hires two maids for the Chrysium, Chrysium Domestic Staffing Agency to help guide Zomir to teach her how to be the splendid maid she dreams of becoming. The agency sends out Rose, who is undead and Ivy, an and android. The two are certainly capable maids, but their goal here is actually to train Zomir. As it turns out, Mary only wants Zomir so she can freeze and keep her as a trophy in her collection. Which is willing to accomplish by using powerful magic. This magic is why Ivy and Rose are actually here since they secretly work for a powerful demon who goes unnamed beyond boss. Those powers are stolen by his younger brother and distributed among his followers. Once Summer learns the truth, she is understandably devastated, but because Rose and Ivy have noticed that our young paragonist has a talent for magic, their boss asks if they should like to join their company, with nowhere else to go and having become fond of Rose and Ivy. Summer accepts the offer. Together, Chudri hunt down the magic stolen by the boss's younger brother who discuss the Splendid Monster Maids. Volume 1 of the Splendid Work of the Monster Maid contains four chapters with the first three being episodic stories. Thanks to this approach, we get a good grasp of the world Sumeri lives in the well as Lini did not throw everyone with the stolen magic as activity using it for bad reasons. Some of them can be left alone once the magic is taken back. I certainly appreciate this taken in the concept since evildoer after evildoer will have grown old after a while. Plus, there is more room for Sumire to grow as a character if she has to work out that the presence of the magic has changed someone and if they need to do more to simply take that magic back. The downside of the episodic approach is that it leaves little room for character development. So for the most part, Sumire is the only one with any grow while Rose is stuck in his intelligent older sister and Ivy is the powerful, empty-handed younger sibling type. That's not the worst thing, giving both are likable enough characters, but I do hope future installments will do more with these two instead of simply focusing on the current situation. With this manga truly sin shines is an artwork. The series has been created by mangaka Yukata Tanabe, who was two unlicensed series to their name. And it looks fantastic. The art perfectly conveys the whimsical vibe from a setting which is combined with cute character designs and easy to follow by the scenes. Yen Press has released this one at their bigger formats, which certainly allows the readers to become a gross and the lavish. Artwork can pick up on the smaller details like the fact both we and Summary sees magic sparkles. But our only minor criticism is that the pages can become a bit busy at times overwhelmed with some of the smaller panels. But the Nabi manages to avoid this most of the time through the use of double page spreads on arch battling. The splendid work of a master by volume one has been translated by Eleanor Eleanor Small Summers. The translation reads well with no issues and there are a couple of translation notes at the back. One of which explains what a Nekomata is for the familiar with Yokai. The series is ongoing in Japan and out of all volumes and yet have volume two scheduled for the English release in March. Overall, the splendid work of a monster maid, Volume 1, is an entertaining read. Thanks to its likable cast and fascinating setting, although there is potential for it and grow old, giving its formula formulaic nature, particularly if it doesn't develop the cast in book to come. For now, the series is up to a solid start. 8 over 10.